Three million dollars is the bill for the policing in and around those stupid protesters in the past couple of weeks. And, by the way, I'll spend some time tomorrow night on the show responding to some pretty outrageous things that have been said on Channel 2 about me uh, and about my views, apparently, about whether or not these people... Um, what should happen to them when it comes to violence. I'll deal with that in great detail tomorrow because I've got to take a long run-up on that. It's outrageous to be, um, yeah, that sort of garbage to go around. But $3 million is the bill. So will the Victorian government be actually fining the protesters, sending it to any of the people who run the Facebook pages, going after the people who were talking to the cameras? Well... We'll have to wait and see. But the Shadow Police Minister in Victoria joins us now. David Southwick joins us now from our Melbourne studio. How are you, mate? Good, Paul. Great to be with you. So, do you think there is a bill that should go to Extinction Rebellion and have you been able to work out if there is a person you can send it to? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. I mean, ultimately, these protesters have shut down our city, have deliberately disrupted things to a point where they have uh, gone about breaking the law. I mean, anyone that literally writes their name on a piece of paper and says, we want to be arrested and we want to make sure that the city is brought to a standstill, well, they've got to, they've got to pay the consequences. And the fact that there has been absolutely no consequences by the Andrews Labor government is just another example of where this Premier just sits on his hands and does nothing and let these people just get away with anything. And, and, and Paul, the real concern for us is where does this stop, you know, if... If these protesters are allowed to get away with this, effectively hold the city to ransom, and, you know, 16,000 police hours that have been taken up, millions of dollars, and ultimately taxpayers should not have to foot that bill. Um, ultimately, those protesters that have illegally shut down our city, they should, they should, they should pay the price. Yeah, but, so, David, I mean, we, we, we hear the Premier occasionally saying sort of some tut-tut in, in their direction, uh, occasionally suggesting that there could well be laws that mean some of these protesters are going to go to jail for a long period of time. But this exact thing here, the bill for the police, Victoria set the standard. They sent a bill to the protesters of the Milo Yiannopoulos um, speeches. Now, regardless of what you think of Milo, it's not about that. It's about the idea that if you create an event... Um, or, or if an event happens that requires police attention and, well, it's pretty easy to work out who the organiser of all of that stuff is, you can send them a bill. Well, these people had people who talked to the media. They've got people who are behind their internet uh, uh, websites and forums. There's a way to find these people. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, and uh, this Premier seems to apply one law for some and another for others. And, you know, ultimately... Uh, when these protesters have done what they have, put their hands up, and certainly they've even given their names to police to say that they wanted to be arrested, surely they can be sent a bill. Um, you know, I think you've got to stop where, you know, the start of the week we had these protesters that were appearing to cooperate, and then towards the end of the week they absolutely um, did everything possible to disrupt and shut down an illegally well, what was, doing, what was pretty much breaking the law. So, you know, they should be sent a bill, they should be made to pay, and why should taxpayers have to foot the bill? Um, this, is, this is another example where when you go soft on these people, I mean, ultimately, many of these protesters... There was one guy that was arrested six times, arrested, back on the streets the next day, protesting again. I mean, they'll get a slap on the wrist, um, a small fine, and what are the consequences? And, and ultimately... Uh, what we're worried about is where what we saw in Victoria was a swarming where there was no cooperation in the later part of the week. These protesters would just turn up in an unknown destination and effectively hold the city to ransom and threaten community safety. Well, is this going to be the new norm in Victoria? It's a slippery slope that Daniel Andrews is doing absolutely nothing to fix. David, I appreciate it. It's late, so I'll let you go home. But thank you very much. Good Do I appreciate you. it. We'll talk Please again up. very soon. Thank